Hello guys, this is Amel and welcome again. Uh, so now we're gonna continue in part two, how to divide in MIPS. And well, as you can see, I didn't delete the code, so I still have it here. And well, let me walk you through it again. So I'm storing the value 30 in T0, 5 in T1, and then I say divide 30, the value in T0, which is 30, by 5 and 30 divided by 5 is 6, so 6 is going to be stored in S0. And then I'm just printing it out. This is the code to print it out. Um, so if you don't understand this code, just go back to my previous videos, and I have a section uh, on how to print integers. So let me uh, save it and assemble, and then I'm going to run it. And as you can see, I have 6 right here. So 6 is the, the, the quotient. Okay, but uh, some one thing that I didn't show you before is that instead instead of having um, another register here, as you can see, there are other versions that you can use. You can use a version of the division or divide instruction that instead of taking a register, takes a, a, a constant, an immediate. It takes a number. So I can say, okay, now I don't want to divide 30 by 5. Now I want to divide 30 by 10. So you only have to um, say div s0 comma t0 comma 10. So t0 divided by 10 and the quotient will be stored in s0. So 30 divided by, by 10 is going to be 3. So let's uh, save it and then assemble and finally um, we execute and as you can see we have three so it's working so um, the main point here is that you have different versions so you have a version that takes three registers you have a version that takes um, two registers another version that takes a negative value and another version that takes uh, a positive integer uh, any number so you can use any version but now what I want to do is that I want to show you another way to divide and this is the way that uses two registers and okay so we can we want to divide 30 by 5 so or actually 30 by 6 and then we uh, this is gonna take two registers so we're gonna do the following um, dollar sign t0 comma dollar sign t1 Okay, so this is going to divide 30 by 6. And the quotient right here, the quotient is going to go or it's going to be stored in the low register. So pay attention to the right. So right here we have the low register and the high register. When we do division in this way, we uh, the quotient is going to go to low and the, um, the remainder, if there's a remainder, is going to go to high. So now I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna say move from low because I wanna print out the quotient dollar sign s zero. So s zero has the quotient. So let me write a comment here. Quo uh, quotient. And now move from high dollar sign s one. So now s one has the remainder. Okay, so the main point is that you have to, when you divide uh, using this method, um, the quotient is going to be stored in, in low. The, the remainder is going to be stored in high. So you have to use this command or this instruction, uh, move from low to get a quotient. So the quotient. Yeah, <laughs> the quotient right there. So, um, and move from high to get the remainder. So now I want to print it out. So let's say I want to print out the quotient. So the quotient is in S0, right? Yes, that's the quotient right there, in S0. So it should give me 5. So let me save and then assemble. And then I'm going to execute. Voila, 5. But now let's see the remainder. So now the remainder is in S1. So let's see what I get for the remainder. So save, assemble and then execute. 
So zero, the remainder is zero because when you divide um, 30 by six, there's no remainder. But let's say that I want to divide 30 by eight. I save, I run, I assemble, then I execute. So right here you can see the remainder is six. So when you divide 30 by eight, the remainder is, is six because um, you know that eight times three is 24. So six, you have six left in order to, you have, you, you need six more to go to 30 because uh, eight times four is 32. So if you multiply, if you divide 30 by eight, then you're gonna get three and the remainder is gonna be six. So you can see, move from low gives you the quotient, move from high gives you the remainder. Um, so thank you for watching this tutorial. Remember, go to smartvania.com and, well, uh, continue learning MIPS. Uh, see you on the next tutorial and thank you for watching.